WTFNN. Headline News Update. And it's Dave White with your 2 p.m. update of the markets. Uh, S&P's off half a percent. NASDAQ's off three quarters. Uh, Dow's basically flat. Russell's up a little bit, two tenths of a percent. Crude off three and a half percent. That's on a supposed deal with the uh, rail strike. I suspect uh, this may, in the next coming days, may be the best time to be buying crude. Uh, we'll look at those charts uh, probably tomorrow on the show. Uh, today we've got Tim Ord on at 2.15, so uh, check in with us on that for the Power Trading Hour. Uh, gold, of course, down 2%. Uh, eh, and breaking some, or close to breaking some levels. We'll be going through those charts in the uh, next hour. And uh, that's it. Now, the question is what kind of volume we have. Uh, and that's about $6.5 on the CBOE consolidated tape. So is it blowout volume? No. Is it uh, no volume? No. So we continue to kind of trade in this uh, no man's land, in my opinion, we're in a big trading range from about 3750 on the S&P cash to about 4100 maybe a little over that. So there's not much else to talk about. Um, and, of course, uh, again, we want to be looking for margin selling. I Generally, uh, my rule of thumb is that you don't uh, act in big move it markets down. 80% of the time, you're going to see that uh, the low is either – retested or exceeded by those three days and there's a variety of reasons but mostly people can't stand that kind of psychic pain for very long and we're probably seeing a few people sell out today and some uh, margin positions that uh, probably are being a little forced look at 230 245 again today for maybe the end of some margin selling We'll be back with you in about three minutes. The reality is that navigating financial markets can be risky. Markets can be chaotic and difficult to understand.